we doing, boy? Um, going pike fishing. Yep, we weren't ready at all. We had to change hooks from trebles to singles on a bunch of pike spoons. Had to move snow machines, unshovel a trailer. We weren't ready at all. And this damn daylight savings crap has got me all screwed up. It's 8.20, not 7.20. It's an hour later in the day than I thought because I forgot about this damn daylight savings time. We're gonna cut a foot off of this blanket at the feet and sew it on at the top and we're gonna have a longer blanket, by God. The hell. What's that, son? Tradition. Yeah, tradition. I forgot the ice pick, so I was trying to turn around and go back for it. Found some soft. <sighs> you still having fun? I could use, we could warm up. Yeah? Maybe you should have put your mittens on to begin with. That way your hands would have stayed warm. You've got a little bit to, to go before we're in the fishing stuff. How much? Do uh -huh. you, are you, like, a few miles? Maybe a mile or two. Is it not fun anymore? I want to warm up first. All right, warm up then. What just happened, son? I, ca I got a fish. For he you. farmed it. It was bending that rod, too. I'm raising a farmer, by God. I got one of Gumashi's old fishing sticks. Thing's probably 40 years old. Jigging a spoon with a single hook. You got to use single hooks. He's got my white jig on one of... Uh, the big white jig I found uh, in my toe after a cast. No, no, that's not that jig. That's a different jig. He's a uh, big white jig on one of Grandpa Rogers from Michigan's old fishing sticks. That's probably 40 years old too. We ain't, we ain't ones to quit using gear just cause it's old. Come on now, get him back. And don't be handing me no snagged up hook neither. Ugh. You do oh, that, yeah. you do that again, that 40 incher counts as mine. <laughs> just happened son. Yep, no. he actually caught one, pulled it up through the ice. Oh, he didn't farm it. Whoo! Oh, son of a damn! That's three I've farmed. <laughs> Man, I get, I get punchy. I get excited. It's been so long since I, since I ice fished. It's been a year since I've ice fished for pike. I get real. I get wound up. That's three I've farmed now. Oldest over there. He's he's pulled one through the ice. I got bored over there, so I found a a hole here. Parked my snow machine next to it, sitting on my my comfy snow goal jigging and my hook was down there for just a few seconds longer than before I started the camera and done farmed one dang <sighs> finally got one on Gumashi's fishing stick with Gumashi's spoon ah oh, what a good day what a good day. Got that damn pig stucker in hell. Got it out. Found somebody's old holes from yesterday, chipped them out. Got some fish. Aiden duck, took some shots at some ptarmigan when he went back for the ice pick. I didn't, uh, I didn't see him. I was unsticking the pig while he went back for the ice pick we forgot. Oh man, what a good day. This is overflow. This is a mild example of it. It hasn't stuck me yet. But you see how there's wet there, son? 
but over here where the trail is, it's solid. Overflow is when water comes up from under the ice and hangs out on top of the ice. And it's a bastard. This is a tame example of it, though. I'm going to fish for just a few minutes. He's going to take a head start back up there. He wants to go hunt ptarmigan. So he's going to head on up that away, right? Stay if on I the can turn the Bravo around. Yeah, go ahead. Stay on the trail. I bet you I bet you to the right there, right there, it's it's hard packed enough to where there won't be overflow like this. So just drive drive around and head on up. I'll catch up with you. Of course I'll catch up. got the pig stuck once we each got a pike we didn't see the ptarmigan on the way back we did see some lynx tracks it looks like a lynx might have got after him flushed him out gone lost him to a serious hunter well, we I did. Flushed him out. yeah that too <laughs> but it was a good day it was a good day now if nothing weird happens on the truck ride It'll have been a great day. So I'm, I got halibut Olympia that we're gonna put over rice. And by halibut, I mean pike, pike Olympia. But I'm gonna deep fry the gut, the roe, and the liver in bacon grease. See how that tastes.